Akira is considered one of the greatest anime movies ever made, if not the most influential movies ever made. Personally, I prefer the manga, but eh, whatever. With such a legacy and the fact that it was a late 80s, early 90s movie when, you know, movies based video games were pretty much everywhere and rampant, you'd expect it to have a ton of games under its belt, but in reality, it only had one game and that was a subpar visual novel for the NES. Well, there's that pinball game, but that's that's fucking stupid nobody talks about that aside from that there was one akira game slated to be released in 1994 on the super nintendo sega genesis atari jaguar sega cd and seemingly every handheld console afterwards if it succeeded simply known as akira the game's development started off in black pearl and shortly thq became their publishers thq not really understanding the limitations of the super nintendo and genesis were demanding quite a lot out of the team that was damn well near impossible there were also other games the team had to put into priority that led to more complications and the final straw was the departure of the lead programmer. Ultimately, these complications led to the game's cancellation. And that's about every little bit of info we have on the game, except in 2014 when somebody finally came out and showed footage of the game. And when you look at the footage and you hear about the complications that this game had, you realize that the situation really sucks. This game looks like it has potential, a potential that could have rivaled the source material success. According to a games journalist by the name of Phil Theobald, who has played the game at E3 1994, the game apparently had multiple kinds of levels and scenarios that made it incredibly diverse. There was a motorcycle racing level, a first person shooter level, a beat em up level, a platformer level, and an isometric level. I mean, Christ, this, this game had it all, and it wasn't some bold claim either. With this footage out, it pretty much showed everything that Theobald was talking about. Another journalist by the name of Jim Gregory reported that the SNES version was pretty much going to be a traditional platformer and that it would combine elements from both the film and the manga into the game. It, sadly, the development stopped and the game was no more. Again, it's a real shame as this could have potentially been an innovative smash hit the likes that no one had ever seen before. Or it could have sucked. Either way, we'll never really get to know for sure. You just gotta enjoy the little footage that managed to survive all these years, as it's the only known evidence of the game ever existing. 